Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to do basically a hands-on uh, drum kick movement. As far as, uh, you know, sometimes you got some stuff that you got to move around uh, destructively, they call it, in which case it doesn't just snap in um, you know, to place. And you don't get to do a lot of that trigger stuff. What I did here was I basically pulled up an organic, uh, you know, the, the same organic um, drum set that was sent to me that we did. We, we went over the sound replacement thing. Um, so what we'll do now is I already got these the kicks replaced, the snare replaced with new samples. So it sounded better um, as far as the original that that band sent me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the kick drums and kind of show you how to do a uh, destructive, hands-on, you know, uh, cut-up movement type thing. I mean, this comes in handy when, you know, a band did everything organic um, or a little off. So let's cover those grounds as well. So here we go. Let's, let's check this out. So um, we got the bass is the kick and the snare. Snare sounds a little shitty without the overheads. So we'll just, you know, solo these two up for now, but let's see. somewhat on right here. Yeah, this drummer's pretty solid, I gotta say. There's something that kind of pissed me off up here. Let's check hear that again. Right there, it's kind of weird offbeat. You should have stuck with that kick solid kind of thing. I mean, I know it goes with the fill, but... Right there, I mean, that's kind of bizarre. Let's check that out. So, I mean, that's on. It just kind of sounds weird as far as the stuff, but here you go. I mean, it basically, these are your own kick drums right here. You can see if they're matched up perfectly. This drum is pretty solid. You know, his kit doesn't sound too good unless you replace the stuff, but if you zoom in, I mean, into the molecular, you know, these, these small, small regions, you can see everything that he did was pretty solid. His, his kick, um, you know, uh, basically his overhead hits, stuff like that, seems pretty solid. Um, you know, sometimes you'll see these things kind of... Uh, Whoops, you'll kind, of, you'll kind of see them a little pushed around, a little bit off, but, you know, let, let's go and look through here. So, basically, what you're looking at is, you know, your kick and snare. So, you're seeing, you know, the, the match-up things. Basically, what we're doing is we're going through for that slightest imperfection. So, here's where your kick starts, and that's where the snare starts. You start at half a second early, probably not even audibly, you know, uh, noticeable, but here's what I would do. So, basically, I'm going to select this snare. That looks like that's the one that's off. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control e which means separate. You can do that in Macintosh as well with Apple E, and that really depends your program, but there's going to be a separate kind of button. So basically I'm just going to drag it up, kind of destruct it. So now, you know, as long as, I mean, it was probably not noticeable to, to begin with, so yeah, that's not a big deal. But now at this point we're, we're matched up perfectly, so you can go through these, kind of push them together. Um, this comes in handy when you're doing some death metal kind of, uh, you know, death metal... Um, double kick drum type stuff. So we'll keep pushing this around. This one looks like the snare was just a half second off. So we'll push that snare up a little bit destructively. And once again, I highlighted it all, Control E to separate it, and pushed it up. So got that. Let's see, you're getting getting into these kind of uh, you know he's a little bit off on on some of these things. So you know a little early, a little late. But these these are so small. Uh, this drummer is actually pretty impressive how solid he is. You know, um, so what we're doing right now is basically, you know, destructive kind of editing. And this this stuff, you know, there's no real easy way to do it unless you want to try quantizing and doing that stuff. But, you know, some of these are early, some of these are late, so it tends to be better. Just uh, I just like, you know, putting putting my gloves on and just, you know, getting dirty, just getting into it. So, you know, basically pushing these together. That one looked pretty good. That no snare with that. That looks like his fill right there, actually, so um, let's zoom out a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's his weird little fill. So here's what we basically did. We just kind of pushed these in line. You know, we'll double check this one. Um, that's pretty on with the snare. Not a big deal. That one's pretty on, too. We already pushed that snare up, so. Okay, so now, you know, when we listen to this back, 
you know, it's perfect. And that's that's the point. You're basically pushing destructively all, all these kick drums into, uh, you know, perfect, perfect uh, symmetry with all the other stuff. So, um, you know, just to show you a little more intense, let's go ahead and do that. Let's duplicate these. Let's make this a double kick kind of metal thing. Sound a little too off. So I'm just going to kind of paste a kick drum in there. That looks like about the, the even and kind of symmetrical part, you know, about solid. So what I'm going to do is copy these and basically have a new region start, you know, in, in between on, on each snare. So I'm, I'm just pacing two at a time, um, you know, matching that up, still landing on that snare. If you notice, this one's always at the snare drum, the two kicks. So, uh, you know, we'll just kind of destructively tweak it out so it sounds like you know, this drummer is a little more metal. You never know when you want to do it. I've, I've seen bands, you know, where they, they want to do some kind of, uh, you know, complex breakdown kind of thing, in which case, um, you know, they want a little triplet or something. And this is, this is a good way to add it, just destructively. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's, let's see. That looks about good. Um, so we'll check that out. So another little trick, too, is if you want to get to the next little cut on these, you see the, the end regions, the lines, stuff like that. You can actually hit the tab button and it'll take you to the next one. That's a quick little key you can hit, you know, to go in between. I'm just hitting tab. I'm right here now. So you, you can kind of go there um, if, if you already chopped it up. So that's, that's a cool little thing. And then I'm just pasting it, which is control uh, V and, you know, Apple V if you're going to the other things. So let's check this out. I'm not sure how good it's going to sound, but at least I can kind of show you how to, you know, trick it out destructively. You know, so that's that's just something you easily do. And once again, these are sound replace kicks, sound replace snare. We're we're going off of an organic kit with zero triggers. So this is another way. Um, you know, if if you really wanted to get complex too, you could, you know, uh, make this even crazier and, and add kind of an extra kick note um, in the middle of, whoops, um, in the middle of all of these. You know, uh, just a extra kind of. And I, I just do this by by just eyeing it up. I mean, once you do this so much, you you often can uh, kind of like the matrix. You just start seeing these these forms for what they are. But you know, if you want to get complex, you could measure it. You know, with the tempo and stuff like that. Use the markers up here. You know, if if you did play to a clip track. So let, let's go ahead and uh, you know we'll add a little triplet. Make this guy look like he's doing some death metal, a little you know double kick fill. So. Here we go, we're gonna zoom out. Let's check that out. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a little uh, Lamb of God feeling little double thing. So, you know, once again, you got sound replacer, you got your snares, but that's how you destructively move things in. And it's beneficial just to, to watch up. And if, if, you know, you look closely, your kick should always coincide somehow with your snare. You know, notice how a hit always hits with a snare. You know, your snare being the green, your kick being the blue. So, you know, that kind of matches up pretty nicely. But that's how you do uh, destructive kick movement.